Good afternoon. It's the day after Christmas. It's one of those days of the year where I have absolutely nothing to do. Really over the next couple days. Uh, over Christmas break. It's nice. Everybody's going to work and I don't have to. But I, I should be getting ready for some... Uh, i got to teach geography this semester. Never have before, so i got to get ready for that in the next couple days. And it looks like we're looking at a ton of snow over the weekend. But luckily for me, before any of that snow got here, I got some stuff today in the mail. And as you can see, I have a Bowman baseball from 1995. You can see the year there was a little glare there. On the cover of this box is uh, Chipper Jones, who obviously went on to have a Hall of Fame career. And Billy Ashley, who went on to, uh, I don't even know if he played in the majors, I've never heard of him. But this is what the cards uh, look like. They're in these awful, kind of like the 2006 tops, these awful hanger packs. I got nine of them. I actually paid pretty good money for this because Bowman 95 has a lot of good rookies. 95, mid-90s are kind of the uh, really apex of where all the good players that I grew up watching, like Jeter and... Obviously, Chipper Jones and many more uh, got their start. So, might not be all rookies, but a lot of uh, early cards for a lot of guys that people my age and myself grew up watching. But the big cards in here are the Vlad Guerrero rookies. Um, I guess Andrew Jones isn't really a huge you know, name to maybe some younger kids. It is to me. But there are a lot of good rookies in here. And I'm hoping to at least pull, uh, you know, one of those out that's decent. These are going to be a real pain to open. I'm not sure if the cards stick together. A lot of these, I know like Upper Deck 90s do, but these appear to be pretty good. Okay, so Prime Prospect is the first card, and it's kind of a little refractor. I don't know if you want to call it a refractor, but it kind of has a cool design. And it's Dustin Hermanson. Got another one, Mark Newfield. Barry Bonds, Matt Smith, oh, Matt Smith, John Olerud, who always wore a hat when he was fielding. I think he had some kind of a, you know injury or condition, and that's why he did that. Always looked goofy to me. Alex Fernandez, Royce Clayton, Bobby Bonilla still getting paid. Here's a uh, good card. Bobby Abreu, who had a, and I'm not sure if these are, what's going to actually be considered a rookie card in these. But Bobby Bray, who had a really good career with a couple of teams, the Yankees for a while, but Phillies and Angels. Bartolo Colon, looking very slim there. Jim Cole and Bobby Higginson. So, a couple good players there. Like I said, I don't know if uh, what's actually considered a rookie card in these, if there's a distinction. I didn't see anything on those Abreu cards or the... Or the cologne card. And these are not a lot of fun to open. I've been uh, spending a lot of time while I'm sitting around at home watching TV, looking at different things on eBay that would be fun to buy. And the Bowman things are they're generally pretty expensive because they do have a lot of rookie cards. Sergio Nunez. Here's the Yankees manager, Aaron Boone. It says first impressions, and it's got the little refractor type. Channel Park, who was okay for a while. Big unit, Randy Johnson. I missed one here. Brent Bowers, Randy Johnson, Mike Stanley, Carlos Baerga. Big old Cecil Fielder. He had 50 home runs. I think it was in 1990. Jimmy Key, Jimmy Wright. And so one thing. Whenever you have Bowman, you have some guys that did not make it. Still had a baseball card, though. Which uh, is cool to say. <laughs> I wonder if there's a better way to go about opening these. Because they really are a pain. Maybe I should have pre-opened them. That kind of ruins the fun of... Uh, I'm getting to the point where all I really want to do is open packs. It's, uh, it's a thrill. Kind of like a gamble, I guess, which I used to do a lot of. Some bowl games on today. Travis Fryman, he had a pretty good career. Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer. Fred McGriff, 
really good player that a lot of people say should be in the Hall of Fame, our Hall of Fame. Jose Lima, I think he passed away. The old pulp, pulse, I don't know him. I remember seeing the name on a lot of cards. Garrett Anderson, prime prospect. Garrett Anderson had a long career too. Terry Bradshaw. This is not the uh, football Terry Bradshaw. Rondell White was okay. Terrell Wade was supposed to be a prospect. I have a lot of... Uh, Chris Stein's played in the majors for a long time. Checklist. Alan Battle and Mike OB. Okay, still looking, obviously, for all those good rookies. I think there's a Scott Rowland in here. Said the big one is Vladimir Guerrero. I wonder what, if... I'm sure Jeter has a card in this, uh, what it's considered. Because I think Jeter's first year was 95 he came up, and then 96 his second year. I believe it was his second year. Maybe his first full year. The Yankees won the World Series, and he did win the, the Rookie of the Year one year. I don't remember what year. I was, not, I was much too young to remember. I don't remember the Yankees winning it. There's two Hall of Famers. I don't remember the Yankees winning it in 96. I remember 98. And then on. Rule Mondesi. Doug Drebeck. Tim Salmon. I have a old baseball coach in college that looks exactly like Tim Salmon. He was a good good player too. Probably not as good as yeah. Tim Salmon though. Kamara Barty. Oh man, these cards are every which way. Chrisman, Jimmy Hurst, Melvin Neves. I got a Melvin Neves uh, autograph, actually. On card autograph. Pete Harnish. Don't know that guy. I think that's my fourth pack. I got our fifth pack. I got four left. Hopefully, my video doesn't take too long. So these are not a lot of fun to open. They are. Uh, let me, oh, I thought I maybe had the Vlad, but I do not. Okay, so we've got Terry Steinbach, Minnesota kid. Here's a young Manny Ramirez, Joey Hamilton, Dion, Neon Dion Sanders, Moises Alou, excellent player for a long time. Todd Hollinsworth. Prime prospects. The Troy Hawkins. He pitched for a million teams and for a million years. For a while, he was a pretty good little uh, Twins player. We got a Hideo, or no, another Channel Park. At Ken Ray, Channel Park, Carlos Perez. And a bunch of nobodies. Ron Ballone, I remember watching a little bit. Stacy Hollins and Steve Rodriguez. Still, none of those big rookies. I got this huge box. I think I might save all these boxes of um, old things I open up. I don't know where exactly in the store, and they don't store well, but they are kind of cool. And this one is humongous, this Bowman one. I don't know exactly how many of these were in a pack. I do have a one card that I'm going to, uh, I kind of noticed it while I was on the table, and I'm thinking this might be the, the best card I have, and I'm excited about it. Okay, Matt Brunson, John Lieber, he was okay for a while. He pitched with the Yankees for a year or two. Okay, we've got, oh man, Stuchin Schneider, that's a good name. Otero, I just want to get to the end because I know I have at the end here. Wilson Alvarez, Delino De Shields, this kid that's been playing. Jeff Conine, good career. Mo Vaughn, funny story about Mo Vaughn. Whenever we were messing around as kids and uh, like we were pretending to turn a double play and it took forever, uh, at baseball practice we'd always yell, oh, Mo Vaughn's running. So uh, obviously he's a bit hefty and he got even heftier. And hopefully, uh, we'll end the Miller. This is a minor league MVP gold card, and it's Derek Jeter. I don't really know what this is worth, 
But I'm pretty excited about this. And I got another one, Chris Truby. But I'm going to look this up because I haven't ever seen this card. I guess it's probably not a true Bowman rookie because he's, you know, been, he has a Bowman set. I think maybe 93 he was in that Bowman set. But the fact that it's uh, gold and minor league MVP is pretty exciting for me. That's going to be the one card if I don't get to the Vlad that I'm excited about. I was actually uh, doing a lot of YouTube. I said I, I mentioned all I'm doing over the last couple of days is kind of laying around, but I was watching some Jeter on Jimmy Fallon and uh, talking about his last game. I was watching that this morning and uh, how fun that was for him to get a walk-off hit in his last game. <gasps> I am happy things are heating up because look what we have here. We have the Vladimir Guerrero rookie card that's probably the best card in the set he is a hall of famer his son obviously is now all the craze and so you know i've been opening up all kinds of 2019 things and seeing vlad guerrero jr but now i was able to open up a vlad guerrero 1995 bowman rookie so those two cards the jeter and the vlad are uh, pretty exciting. Ruben Rivera was another guy that was supposed to be a good Yankee that never amounted to much. Enrique Wilson, this guy, was a Yankee backup for a really long time. And actually, like whenever they played the Red Sox and Pedro Martinez was pitching, this guy just killed it off Pedro Martinez. So if you're out there and you remember some of this stuff, look up his numbers against Pedro. Tom, I want you to look up that up specifically. Some of the viewers won't remember him, but that's a, kind of a trip down memory lane. Jason Giambi. Tony Gwynn is my sister's favorite player. She loved his voice, amongst all things. Joe Carter ended the World Series with a walk-off. Mike Greenwell and Juan Gonzalez. And Greg Vaughn, who is also a 50-home run guy. Much like Cecil Fielder. I think nobody hit 50 home runs for like a really long time. I don't think anybody did it in the 80s. I know that George Foster did it in like 77-ish. And you know, when I was growing up, when everybody was on steroids, 50 home runs was something that didn't seem all that rare. It doesn't happen a ton anymore, but it definitely didn't happen in the 80s. Alex Ochoa, Jeff Abbott. Scott Ruffcorn, Paul Wilson. Oh, well, I don't know all these guys. And there's Pedro. Don Mattingly. I think this was Don Mattingly's, Don Mattingly's last year. The Yankees made the playoffs, and that's when they lost in the division series. or the. I think this was the first wild card year. They lost to the uh, Mariners. Edgar Martinez got that hit that scored. Griffey, kind of a famous, uh, famous clip on white, Pat Hankin, and Sammy Sosa, looking very trim. I got one pack left, maybe I can get the Andrew Jones or the Scott Rowan, I'm excited that I got the Vlad, I'm excited about the Jeter minor league MVP, I doubt they're worth that much, but I'm going to look them up and try to see what they're worth this afternoon, I got all the time in the world. And I see uh, Mike Piazza here. Let me get this out of the pack. Mike Piazza. There's a lot of Hall of Famers at this time that we're playing. Um, and like I said, a lot of really good players that I grew up just amazed by. Sal Fasano. DeCombra. Connor. Jeez, that's the Bowman. There's a lot of misses in here. Alan Embry. He was a relief pitcher. He played for the Red Sox for quite a while. Come on. I was really actually pretty excited about how little sticking these cards did. Ray Langford was pretty good. David Cohn. I loved watching David Cohn. Got his autograph right after he threw his perfect game in 98 or 99. David Wells threw one in 98. Dante Bichette. Mike Piazza. Tim Bell. Carl Everett. Got Gentile. 
Resident Gentile. And my last card is Brian Meadows. So I did not get all the rookies that I was hoping for, but I think I got the one that I wanted most. Vlad, and then the Jeter um, minor league MVP gold card, which is pretty sweet. I'm trying to think, yeah, I gotta look up. I'm not sure if these uh, Abreu ones, this Abreu and Cologne are technically rookie cards or not. I have to check that out. But overall, I had a fun time opening Bowman 95. And uh, like I said, it wasn't cheap. So if anybody ever runs across it and it's fairly cheap, go ahead and order it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, go ahead and share. I said I'd like to have uh, as many people view these and you know enjoy them as possible. They're into baseball cards. Hope everybody has a uh, good upcoming weekend. I know if you're uh, living where I am, it's going to snow. And so hopefully you have a good time snowed in. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.